Hey, what's going on gamers? And today I'm gonna show you guys how I edit my videos. When you finish this video, you will be able to do stuff like Or this. Thanks. Or don't watch it. Stop, stop. It Nine. it recorded the co co stream, Dallin. <laughs> it, okay, it's gonna make noise. It just needs to be it just needs to be the party. Or this. So currently I have them installed on my computer as you can see, but I'm gonna go ahead and uninstall them just to prove that this works. In my recent video on how to get Adobe Premiere Pro for free, I got a comment saying, Omiba, you a hundred percent should do a tutorial on all those effects and animations. It would help me and probably a lot of people. Thank you, Pluto, for your kind advice. Well, here I am doing this video. Let's get started. So first, what you're going to want to do is, of course, click New Project. Once you do that, you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to go ahead and name this Epic Tutorial. Once you do that, you'll have a location. Go ahead and put that wherever you want. Of course, I've got it in Projects. Don't give a shit about any of this. Just go ahead and click OK. All right, guys, once you're in Premiere Pro, go ahead and make sure you're on the editing window. For me personally, I only use the editing and graphics window. You can go ahead and explore the other two, but that's all I'm going to go ahead and incorporate in this video. First, what you're gonna wanna do is get some epic clips from uh, either recording through Elgato or Streamlabs or OBS. Um, Streamlabs and OBS are free, so um, go ahead and download those. Then in, go ahead and import whatever videos you want to import. Okay guys, so I'm going to go ahead and use this Rocket League clip and what I'm going to do is go ahead and drag that into the timeline. Now you got your first part of the video completed. Next what you're going to do is you're going to cut out the stuff that you don't want. So go ahead and click C and that will bring out your, your clip cutter tool. Now you're going to go ahead and drag your clip into a part that you don't want anymore. So you can go ahead and click on the video and then click V and then it brings out a selection tool. Click on the video that you don't want and then just click delete. And once that's gone, you can just click on the section that it was at and click delete again and it'll just automatically bring it to zero. If I wanted to, what I could do is if I click C there, cut it and then V again and I can delete this and then delete that and it'll bring it to the previous clip. All right guys, so once you guys go ahead and cut um, whatever you don't want out of your video, you might notice that your sound is really off. So like for example, this is really loud and I do not want it to be this loud. All right, great. So I'm gonna go ahead and right click on the clip itself in the sequence and then go to audio gain. Once I get to audio gain, I can set the gain. I'm just gonna experiment. I'll just say negative 20. It's already a lot better. However, uh, I'm gonna do a little less so that I can put music under the video. All right, guys, so then once you mute your audio, I'm going to go ahead and import a, another audio file. Uh, these are the MP3 files that I've downloaded so far. You can go ahead and find them online. For example, NCS is very good. Um, all their YouTube videos have download links, and it's just very easy not to get viruses that way. So I'm going to go ahead and use uh, Symbolism, which is probably the most OG uh, montage song and what you're gonna go ahead and do is just drag that into the clip now as you can hear it's really loud oh gosh okay so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just do the same thing audio gain save like what negative negative 40 and it's also very helpful on the right side you'll see that you have this volume mixer and when you play the video it tells you how loud it is so this is at zero decibels and then I my voice is normally around 12 so I try to keep it around 12-ish to six. All right, guys. Now, as you can see, when I play this clip, my audio, my sound is around 12. I always like to keep it a little low just so that if someone is watching and they and then they play it, it doesn't hurt their ears. They can just turn it up a little bit instead of it being too loud. All right, so I'm at the end of the clip here and What's going to happen is Psy Cliptics is about to score this goal. Now, what if I want to edit it a little bit where it zooms in on him scoring? So pretty much what I can do I'm going to go ahead and uh, click C and then cut the cut the video and then I'm going to play it until I want so right there, right? 
I'm gonna cut it again and then click on the part that you want to zoom in on. Now what you're gonna go ahead and do is go ahead and go to effects. All right, once you got the effects up, you're gonna go ahead and click the toggle animation on the scale. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep that at full. So what that means is that it's gonna start at full. You're gonna see this little, little triangle. We're gonna scroll through and you can actually scroll through up here. And once we get to the end, you can go ahead and just zoom in like to where you want it. You can even reposition if you wanted, but now it's gonna do this. So you see that it nicely zooms on in. Next, what we can do is just copy and paste the scale over. So that was 217. So this is 217. So we can keep it like that. So now what it's gonna look like, now it's gonna zoom in and then keep that same scale throughout that whole piece. Like that. All right guys, now I'm gonna show you guys how to add a green screen over something you want in your videos. So for example, right now, I've got this. Right, so what I'm gonna show you how to do is you're gonna go onto YouTube and you're gonna type in uh, ex whatever you want. I'm gonna type in explosion green screen. And once I type that in, here's what I downloaded. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna look up, uh, for example, YouTube video downloader. And once you have that, you can just use one of these. I use this one. Uh, once you download your video, go back to your pro, open it in the project folder, and then put it into your clip. And then you got one. And then once you do, what you're gonna go ahead and do is go to effects, go over to ultra Crete key, and drag that over the green screen. Now, you got this uh, effect on the green screen. So you're gonna go to effects controls in the left, scroll down, go to key color and uh, then you're gonna click this little button right here. I don't know what to call it, but we're just gonna click it and click on the green screen and then bam. So then you can go ahead and trim trim the green screen to however you like it and then this is what it's gonna look like. Like that. So you guys can get pretty creative with it. That's how I did my, my eye edit in the beginning. Now, if you're wondering how to shake clips, what you can do is instead of zooming in, I'm gonna go ahead and delete the scale, reset it. So you can just click this uh, refresh tool, go to position and then go ahead and click the animation. And once you click the animation, then you just click the right key on your computer to go to the next frame. And then you drag the it to the right, next frame, drag it to the left, next frame, drag it to the right. And you can be precise with this, but you can just kinda get, get it going. All right, so then once you get to the end, uh, you got all of these little triangles, which means that there's an animation. So now what it's gonna look like is gonna look really weird. It's gonna go, just kind of shake. It's gonna shake a bunch, right? So that's kind of what you can, you can tamper with that at certain parts is things get loud, uh, I'm not sure. Just kind of get creative with it. You know, there's, there's a tool that you guys can use. All right, guys, what I'm gonna show you next is how to add transitions that are very smooth in your video. So if you saw my how to get Adobe Premiere Pro video, you probably noticed that my sound would go up and then down at certain points. So for example, right here, it's pretty normal, right? So for, for example, what if I'm talking right here and my gain is, let's just say negative 40. Right, so it's pretty low, like you can't hear it. I'm gonna be talking in this part of the video. Then you get to this next part and you're trying to speed up through a portion. So well, what you can go ahead and do is go to effects again, go to audio transitions, crossfade, and then constant gain or exponential fade, it's up to you. But I'm gonna go ahead and do constant gain and it's gonna go like that, right? So now we're gonna listen and see what happens. See, it kind of nicely led into the next transition. And then you can also do that again if you want to have uh, this next audio gain be a little lower, right? So if let's say you're going high to low, uh, it's pretty much the reverse. You have uh, negative 40 and then you go exponential fade instead. So now it's gonna go, wait, let me start from the beginning. See, now it just kind of nicely went down into, into a part where I can put my voice over. 
There's also countless uh, video transitions that you can do in the effects tab. There's dissolve, which is my favorite, like dip to black right here. There's a dip to black. There's also a dip to white. And there's just a bunch of other different things that you guys can experiment with. Now, what if I have this really sad part of my video that I want to be black and white uh, so that I can have this nice, nice sound effect over to make it nice and quiet. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is type color in, oh, that's not how you spell color, color in the effects tab and then scroll down and go color balance. Scroll that over to your part of the video that you want to change. Scroll down, you have this hue, lightness, and saturation. Just go ahead and turn the saturation all the way down and bam, you got black and white video. All right, so now what if you wanna change the color of the video that you have? So for example, let's go to color balance in the effects, drag that on, and then you now you have all of these effects right here. So you got shadow red, shadow green, shadow blue. And if I drag red all the way up, so now it looks red, right? And then drag green all the way down and blue all the way down. Now I got a red video instead. Or um, if I want to, let's reverse those. What if I want to change this clip slowly into turning a different color? Well, of course, you're gonna click the toggle animation for all three of these, scroll to the end of the video, and then you're just gonna have red all the way up and that all the way down. So now what it's gonna look like is this. It's gonna slowly get red, more and more red throughout the whole part of, the, of that clip. All right, guys, so now what if you wanna add text on the screen? So go ahead and click Control T on the sequence, Control T, and then bam, you got a new layer. So now what you're gonna do is go to graphics. This is gonna make it so much easier to edit your, your text. So you can go ahead and drag that around if you want to. In the right side, go ahead and click edit, and then on the text new layer, you can type whatever you want, right? I'm gonna type epic because this is an epic video. Next, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is scroll down and change my, my text. So as you can see, I'm kind of changing my text right now, but it's not actually changing. Why is that? We well, gotta make sure that at least this is over so you can see. And if it's still not working, you gotta double click. It's kind of annoying. You gotta make sure it's really click and then bam, now I can change it. So now I'm not gonna give away my favorite font because that's mine. <laughs> but what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just change it to, for example, this guy. Next, if you click the center, it makes everything nice. And then these two buttons right here on the align and transform, make it horizontally fit and then vertically. So this is in the vid the middle of the video now. Next, what I can do is change the size with this, uh, this slider right here. So I'm gonna make it nice and big. And then I'm gonna scroll down and add a stroke. This makes it so people can see a lot easier your text. So for example, there we go, nice and big. But I kinda like to keep it not too big so that it doesn't look bad. And then if it's too small, people aren't really gonna realize. So I kinda like to keep it around there. So now he's gonna score. All right, well, now it's kind of covering it, but you get the point. You can add text, you can go ahead and trim it at certain points, and then you can keep just rinse and repeat that. There's also, there is also ways to animate your text through position and scale. Like I already showed you, you can uh, animate your position. So you can have it be, uh, to the left and then click the watch and then go to the right and then have it move like that. And then now it's gonna move, right? So you have all of these options. You can rotate it so you can start it at nothing and then you can have it go to the end and then have it rotate. So now it's gonna move and rotate. This is where editing gets kind of fun. It kind of just becomes, it, it just a bunch of experimenting and see what works and kind of try to make it flow. All right, and then once you have your video, uh, how I export my videos is go to File, and then go to Export, and then click Media, and then make sure that this bar right here has the whole video selected. Uh, as you can see, I don't have my Rocket League video, and that's because I forgot to push this in, but I wanted to make sure that this is in here because this is also important. So make sure the format is H.264, Go ahead and scroll down on the preset to any of the YouTubes down here. Make sure to put it in what you recorded in. So I recorded in 1080p, so I'm gonna click 1080p. Next, you're gonna go ahead and click the output name as whatever uh, you want it to be. So for example, this one's just gonna be test. I'm not actually gonna export it. And then 
Uh, scroll down, don't change any of these. Uh, scroll down, render at maximum depth, make sure that is selected. Scroll down more and you'll get to your bitrate settings. Make sure to do two pass and make sure to set what I just do every single time is just change this to 15 and 30. Don't ask me why because I don't actually know. I just, that's what happened. That's what I use after researching online. And then scroll down some more and that's it. And do there's a VR setting if you did VR and then use maximum render quality and then click export. All right guys, I think I actually showed you everything that I know uh, how to edit my my I haven't you know I've got to keep some stuff for myself because you know, it's a little personal 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 tricks up my sleeve but I've showed you everything uh, that I think is necessary in order to get started with with uh, with video editing I've shown you how to add text I've showed you how to do transitions for both video and audio how to scale reposition your images as well as rotate as well as animate them I've also shown you how to add green screens onto your videos and also how to change your audio, which I think is all necessary. Um, so now we got this nice clip, so we're gonna go ahead and just watch it and kind of see what kind of disaster I made. <laughs> that's awesome that's awesome so of course this is not very refined because I'm not actually trying to make a recording right now but as you can probably see from how I edited this video uh, not this video the one you're watching right now I've put more thought into it this is just kind of showing you guys how to how to do the ropes all right guys thank you so much for watching I hope you guys did enjoy please smash that like button and please make sure to subscribe and uh, yeah appreciate it so See you guys later.